Only yesterday, a Pocatello doctor returned home to Idaho after weeks of providing supplies and medical attention in Nepal. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones has been speaking with him today. And Luke, uh, he says last night's quake, that's going to be a major setback. That's right. In fact, yesterday he said they had all their basics in, all their food, all their supplies, and he says they were just about to move to what they call phase two. But now he says they may have to start from scratch. It's, uh, it's painful. I think it's very, very painful. When Pocatello Dr. Fahim Rahim left Nepal earlier this week, he thought at least some of his work was done. Last night I sent information, now we're moving to phase two. We were getting sketches of the temporary shelters. But less than 24 hours after arriving back in the States, more devastating news. Another earthquake. We're back to square one. Striking some of the same villages Rahim and his several hundred volunteers just visited. I think their morale and their spirit is really crushed because they're hoping to get out of it, and they tried very hard, but when they see something else of this magnitude come back. All through the night, Rahim's Facebook page has been lighting up as support pours in from around the world. I'm getting people's messages about how can we help, how can we help, you know, where can we donate money. Rahim's asking folks to donate through this fundraising page he set up online. Today we found him collecting cash and gearing up for another trip to Nepal, which he says will likely take place in the next six weeks. Now, once Rahim reaches the $500,000 mark, he says another group called Rotary International has already promised to double that. That'll bring him up to a million dollars. If you'd like to donate, we'll be posting a link to his page on our page. Just look for it under tonight's story. We're live at the Pocatello Newsroom. I'm Luke Jones. Very admirable. You bet, Luke. Thank you. And Dr. Rahim is also asking the U.S. government to step forward with more funding. He says you can help by contacting your elected leaders.